How much should you rest in between strength training and playing basketball? I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you never miss another video. And comment, jump down below if you want a free vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Black Mamba 24 who says, Hey Nathaniel, I play basketball every day and do strength training three times a week. How much do I need to rest in between playing and lifting? And do I need to rest? Please, I need this. Well, Black Mamba 24. Here's the thing. If you don't have knee pain, think about yourself and everybody else watching this video. Think about your knees. If you don't have knee pain, then and, you, and you've never had knee pain, then you don't need to do any rest between strength training and playing basketball. You could do strength training before you play basketball, or you could do basketball before you play strength training, or you could do strength training in the morning and basketball at night, or you could do basketball in the morning and strength training at night. You can do whatever you wanna do. You can play your sport every single day and do your strength training three times per week. If you have knee pain, this is where you're going to run into problems because if you do a strength training workout and you break down your tendons, seeing as jumper's knee and patellar tendonitis is an overuse injury, if you do a strength training workout in the morning and then you do a and then you play basketball at night, you will be breaking down your tendons again at night, interrupting the recovery process of your patellar tendons and your knees in general. So, if you get knee pain, and you still currently have knee pain, then I would separate your strength training days and your basketball days. If you have jumpers, knee, patellar tendonitis, I would not be playing basketball every single day. It is an overuse injury, and it's likely that that is what is causing your overuse injury, is that you are overusing it by playing basketball every single day. So I would separate your strength training days and your basketball days if you have knee pain. The way that you begin to play basketball every single day, because everybody's goal should be to play their sport every day to get as good as possible, you have to progressive overload. So what I like to do when people come to me, they say, Nate, I have knee pain. What I like to do is I tell them to play basketball one time per week for 20 minutes, just shooting around, okay? Shoot around one time per week for 20 minutes. Then next week, shoot around two days that week and then shoot around three days the next week, and then four days, five days, six days, and on the seventh week, you are now shooting around every single day. Then you go back and you increase the amount of time. So increase it to 30 minutes every day, and then 45 minutes every day, and then 60 minutes every day, and then, and then continue there to the point where you're playing as long as you wanna play every single day. So there's your answer. If you have knee pain, you should separate that and you should progressive overload your activity and your basketball and your sports and your movement until you get to the point where you're playing every day. But if you don't have any knee pain, you can do strength training, you can do basketball every single day. Well basketball every single day, strength training. You could do it three times per week, depending on what you're doing. Two times per week if you're following my plan, but there is your answer. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you have not already, comment, jump down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program, and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power, it is only potential power until you take action on what you know, the way that you get what you want out of life is not just by knowing it, thinking about it, dreaming about it, it's by actually doing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan.